go down and down and down. The heart rate starts dropping. There's an astonishing amount of pressure exerted on the lungs. You get dizzy and have visions that are not real. Divers themselves very much downplay the danger of the sport. I'm very competitive, always have been since I was a kid. Alexei is the greatest freediver in the world. If Alexei can get all five world records within the same season, it would be something that's never been done before. My mom was my coach since the beginning. Natalia Molchanova is widely considered the greatest freediver of all time. She'd had 41 world records and 23 world titles. They were like best friends, and now Alexei is training to follow in the footsteps of his mother. But that can be dangerous. 40 meters, 50, 100, 140. Natalia was teaching in Spain and went down on a fun dive, and she didn't come back up. And I was so surprised to see Alexei was competing. I was thinking, oh my god, can you not take a, a year off or so? That was his way to overcome the pain. Alexei is going deeper than he has been before. He's going too far. Have you ever talked about what would happen if he didn't come back? Yeah. I don't understand the reasoning for adding eight meters to a dive that you failed. Expect the dive time, four minutes. Alexei doesn't see himself in any danger. But does that Formula One driver think they could die when they get behind the wheel? There are risks we are willing to take and we get comfortable with. And because of that, we think that we're immune to them. physiological ticket to eternity, that would be addictive.